Hello fellow entrepreneur, did you guys see Shopify's new update? 3D scanner for your products now available on iOS. Apparently, Apple's iOS 17 comes with a new feature that you can make dynamic 3D objects yourself with your phone. So this is a new update Shopify has made for iOS, for the Shopify app in iOS specifically. It looks something like this. So this is clearly an optimization when it comes to featuring your product's imagery as you want as many images you ca as you can so customers can make informed decisions and not have any doubts about your brand, which includes multiple high quality images. But now you can easily make 3D scanner images that can rotate 360 degrees around and can give your customer a lot more detail than normal 2D images. This is essentially what it would look like. You would need the Shopify app from your iOS. If you don't have the, if you have a Shopify store and you don't have the Shopify app, highly recommend it, especially when it comes to troubleshooting. And I found a lot of times, sometimes when my Shopify store is down and I just need to do something really quick, I can do so on the app and then vice versa. Sometimes the app is down and the website is up and it's just a good way of getting your stuff done without losing so much time because the Shopify platform is down or is experiencing a little glitch. Because to be honest, I have a Shopify store and had a lot of Shopify stores over the years. And the Shopify website, it's admin and it's app, sometimes very buggy. Sometimes you'll wake up and you just need to do something and the whole thing is down. <laughs> and you have to go check out the status page and hopefully get someone on customer service to tell you what is going on. We know how those things go. So once in your iOS, you would click scanner, then tap 3D scanner, and you would be presented with this fun interface, which you would then move around the table, move around the stand in one continuous image, which would then upload 3D scanned image for your product page and your home page. I can see this being used in so many pages. I can see it on the front page in a big featured collection page. I can see it being prominent on your product page. In fact, in one of my Shopify stores where we had this previously not using this service, exactly because there's some third-party apps that can do this and then obviously freelancers like Fiverr is how we did it, but we had a Shopify store that wasn't a jewelry store, but had a piece of jewelry on it. And with jewelry, you need extremely, extremely high resolution imagery very special uh, videos because if it's a high ticket item and it's something like jewelry, product images need to be of the highest quality so customers don't have any doubts. And so we made a 3D model of this with our freelancer on Fiber, and we added it to our collection, our featured, our featured product page actually on our homepage. And we obviously used it on the product page and then we used it as like the collection picture. We used it in a lot of ways. So this can be extremely helpful for a lot of people. I can see this in a lot of markets. I mean, we have this example of this vase, but I can see this in so many industries. I can see it, as I said, in the jewelry industry. I could see it in the clothing industry. I can see it if you're drop shipping, because a lot of the times when you're drop shipping, for example, you rely on the pictures that the supplier gives you. And sometimes they give you some pictures, they give you a lot of pictures. Sometimes they give you a video that you can add. And usually those are questionable quality and sometimes they're very big and they slow your site down. So if you have an iOS, you can now do this yourself I'll save a lot of time, a lot of energy. And if it's a Shopify made and developed feature, most likely will install cleanly, not slow down your site and be a much better experience than using a freelancer or a third party app. It's pretty interesting to see, you know, obviously this will help reduce refunds. This will reduce returns or customer frustration. It will increase your conversion rates while reducing your refunds at the same time. If you have these sort of high quality images, 3D models of your products that leave your customers with less question marks. And it's just all about boosting customers' confidence in your product, in your brand, and increasing your conversion rates. It's one thing just to have a bunch of pictures and a bunch of descriptions and a website for your business, but it's another thing to optimize each one of these segments for higher conversions. And if you have high quality products and high quality video, you can increase your conversions by displaying a 3D model of your product in specifically targeted and strategic locations throughout your site. Also within this blog, it gives you some of the best tips, uh, one of them being a eight centimeter height minimum. That's pretty small. That's maybe about like this long, maybe longer, maybe less. But it does say start with objects that are larger than eight centimeters in height, length, and width. That's important, height, length, and width. That's why they chose this vase. It gives you some lighting tips, clearance so you can walk around the product, it's telling you to make sure that the background is lighter in color than your product. So the product has great contrast and not to use overly shiny surfaces and 
the best results would have multiple temps. So that is interesting. You know, these are tips for best capture, but they are not mandatory. I would be very interested to see if I could ever use my uh, jewelry example for this 3D scanner and compare the difference from what we developed with our freelancer and our third party apps compared to this iOS Shopify app feature and compare the difference. This is also very interesting because it comes on the heels of more big news about product pictures and optimizing your product pictures for higher conversions because in Shopify Summer Editions 2023, where they introduced 100 plus product updates over the summer, if you haven't seen my playlist, I did an extremely deep dive on all of these features coming to the platform that are most important to small business owners like yourself. But one thing that it mentioned in this was it was hinting about a new feature that enabled Shopify, Google, and AI to produce images. So we all know how AI is taking over everything and it's extremely easy to make content like blogs and product descriptions, content using AI as it's just words input and then gives you a much better word output that you can put anywhere on your site. But now we're seeing a little bit of a transition to products and imagery. So one thing that they teased is using Shopify paired with Google AI to make product images. And if you want to see that video, you can check it out here in the top right corner. But that's about it. Quick little update about elevating your product catalog and your product pictures with new 3D scanner iOS. I can't wait to give this a shot myself on my Shopify stores. And if you learned something new from this video, please leave a like so I know. If you want to join a community of like-minded entrepreneurs and learn from someone who's been in the industry for a long time now, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.